Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2 English Story My Ideal Weekend The weekend for me begins on Friday at 4pm. I log off my computer, pack away all my work-related things and if I am at the office, I say goodbye to my colleagues and then I cycle home with a smile on my face. That's if the weather is nice, of course. If it's not very pleasant, then I get the tube. If I'm working from home, then I'll close down my laptop, put my trainers on and take the dog for a walk. I like to wash away the working week somehow, whether that's a bike ride, a run, walk or even a little glass of wine. Sometimes on my Friday evening walk, I'll stop off at the local cafe or pub and have a little snack and a drink. On Friday evenings, I usually like to do something with my friends. Sometimes we'll go out for dinner and drinks. Other times we'll go to one of our houses and relax in front of the TV and catch up on all the week's gossip. What we do depends on the weather and also, quite often, our bank balances. If I have my friends over to my house, I normally cook a big lasagna and homemade garlic bread. We'll have some drinks and usually end up singing together. In the summer, we have Friday night barbecues in my back garden. Sometimes my neighbours will pop over too. As I live in London, we have an abundance of places where we can meet for food and drinks. We always try to go somewhere different once or twice a month. We like to support family-run restaurants where possible and we try to avoid chains. My ideal place to go on a Friday evening with my friends is a local family-run Italian restaurant that's only a 10-minute walk from my house. I love it! The staff are so friendly and kind and they serve amazing food. I usually get home quite late on a Friday evening, so on Saturdays I tend to have a lie-in. Then, at around 9.30 to 10, I'll get up and make myself a lovely breakfast. I try to be as healthy as possible. Ideally, I'll make poached eggs, sometimes with salmon, and I always make a milky coffee. After I've eaten, I'll take my dog, Juniper, for a walk or, if I'm not too hungover, a run. I try to walk or run for at least five kilometres. Then, when I get home, I'll wash Juniper as she always gets so dirty. And then, I'll have a shower. Saturdays tend to be the day of chores and catching up on the things I haven't been able to do during the week. I'll clean the house, do the laundry and do a big food shop to last the week. I try to batch cook my food and freeze it. That way I save money 
and I always have something in, even if I can't be bothered to cook. Sometimes on Saturday afternoons, I'll have a little nap, and then I'll get up and ready for the evening's activities. An ideal Saturday would be going on a date with my boyfriend. We'll go to the cinema or theatre, or sometimes just to the local pub for food. It doesn't really matter what we do; we always have fun. We have been together for almost a year now, and things are going well. If I don't see my boyfriend, then I will visit my parents and order a takeaway with them. Sundays are a day of rest for me, but rest for me might be a little bit different. I like to start my Sundays off by doing the park run. This is a five-kilometer run at the local park. Whether I'm tired or full of energy, I always do it. Sometimes I take Juniper along, as she loves the excitement of the race, and she helps to pull me along. Then I'll come home and shower. I like to keep my Sundays free. Sometimes I'll sit and read and relax, and maybe do some food prep for the week. Other times I'll go for a walk with Juniper and pop in to see some friends and family. When it's coming up to Christmas. My Sundays are always full of visiting stately homes or Christmas markets. Sunday evenings, I like to prepare for my week ahead. I try not to dread it. I'll have a bath and read and maybe watch a film. Before I get into bed, I'll pack my bag if I'm at the office the next day. Then, once I'm in bed, I'll write in my diary, turn out my light, and drift off to sleep. Now, let's go through some vocabulary from this story. Ahead, ahead, ahead means in front. Avoid, to avoid. To avoid means to stay away from something or someone. Depend, to depend, means to be decided by or to change according to the stated thing. Excitement, excitement. This is the feeling of being excited. Normally. Normally, if something happens normally, it happens in the usual or expected way. Somehow, somehow, this is in a way or by some means that is not known or not stated. Take away, a take away, a take away is a meal cooked and bought at a shop or restaurant. But taken away to be eaten elsewhere. Tube, the tube, the tube is London's underground train system. Balance, balance, balance is a state where things are of equal weight or force. In the story, we talk about bank balances. So this is how much money she has in her bank account. Is it of equal weight, or does she have more or less money than she thought? Ideal, ideal, ideal is perfect or the best possible. Ideally, ideally. Ideally is used for saying what you would like to happen, 
or how things should be if everything that you wanted were possible. Laundry. Laundry. Laundry is the dirty clothes and sheets that need to be, or perhaps they are being, or have been, washed. Chore. Chore. We mentioned chore in one of our recent short videos. A chore is a job or piece of work that is often boring or unpleasant, but it needs to be done. Dread. To dread. To dread something is to feel extremely worried or frightened about what is going to happen or what might happen. Drift. To drift. To drift is to move slowly, especially as a result of outside forces with no control over the direction. You can drift off to sleep, meaning that you peacefully fall asleep and you have no control over it. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. You can find the link in the description box below. See you soon!